Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have probably some of the coolest news out here, because we're actually seeing something that usually doesn't happen too, too much. This is going to be actually all in good regards for restocks. Number one, both in terms of like prices, but number two, also in terms of actual movement, moving stock, getting stock to America, and overall just the future of a lot of restocks. So we have a lot of fun things to go talk about. A lot of fun, like thankfully, like actually good news, which is kind of a rarity, I think, when it comes to all these restocks. I can like list on my fingers just like how many actual good news articles we've ever actually had a chance to see and as well we have a lot of stuff to go and talk about so if you guys are trying to find gpus playstation xboxes switches and probably even other things like monitors maybe even tvs and some other various things too as well this actually might be kind of good when it comes to well, everything. So we have a lot of stuff to go talk about for this one. It's going to be a little bit more uh, more specifically focused on, I'd say, the GPUs a little bit, although this affects everything as well. So we'll go talk about that. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console, and controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well, link down below. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit one. I was get a bunch of free stock for your money. Some of that Coinbase too as well. And like I mentioned too, definitely keep on checking the Amazon links down below, either for Amazon drops or Amazon warehouses or Amazon returns turns they're always linked down below so be on the lookout for that so we got a lot of, I, I mean i'm kind of happy i get to go talk about this so in case you guys have not had a chance to see we're actually now finally seeing price cuts but there's actually a little more of a part two of this because this is more so in regards to restocks and also big local tariff laws for the country and it's going to be the more the bigger point we're going to talk about this first and foremost because this is actually a good story and then part two that's in regards to everything else so for this, we actually did have a lot of big news in regards to Asus to now finally start cutting GPU prices by up to 25% now officially starting in April. So first and foremost, that's amazing. Like as you guys have kind of been seeing, it does kind of seem like a lot of these big uh, issues in terms of restocks, etc. have been kind of slowly minimizing. Now when it comes to say, the Xbox itself, it's been a little bit more on the nicer side. It's been easier to go and get, easier to go and find. GPUs have been coming into stock pretty much literally everywhere, and you guys can even see with big price differences. The only kind of major issue for this one, though, is the PlayStation 5 is still very hard to come by, still hard to find, still pretty heavily bodied, and overall, we're probably not going to be seeing high price movements, at least for the PlayStation 5. Although... I think we've actually been slowly starting to see a little bit more even on the Xbox Series X, which we go cover in a separate video. So I'll send you guys know up on that one. But for this, all SKUs now for ASUS are now going to be reportedly be slashed in half. Well, not in half, but you know, by percentages. So let's go talk about this news really quick, and we'll go part two stuff in a second. So ASUS has confirmed that it's slashing graphics card prices by up to 25% in an email statement earlier today. An ASUS representative added that price reductions will apply to its entry level, mid-range and high-performance models, and not just the RX 6500 XT. Thankfully, the company cited cuts to tariffs on U.S. imports from China as a major reason behind the MSRP reductions. So that right there is mainly we're going to be talking about like a part two in regards to consoles, in regards to GPUs, in regards to everything else. But So keep that in mind. Like this news is kind of big when it comes to everything. As a result of the latest tariff lift on Chinese imports, from the office of the United States Trade Representative, gamers and PC enthusiasts will see a lower prices on Asus GeForce RTX 3000 series graphics cards starting officially on April 1st, 2022. Now, this is not like an April Fool's joke. I know it's kind of like a somewhat inconvenient, I guess, timing for that one as well. So first and foremost, I want to go talk about this because that's kind of big news. We'll kind of go into the article itself. Big news, first of all, on the GPU price drops. I know a lot of you guys out there still, even though I know we're more on the console side, have been trying their best to still get their 30,000, 3080, 3080, 38 Ti's, 3090's, etc. Or even a lot of the mid-tier cards. Although, as you guys may have seen, we've been seeing a lot more consistent GPU restocks, a lot more consistent even Xbox restocks. So it does kind of seem like balance is slowly returning to normal, which is very nice to see. And I'm sure most people would also agree because if for some areas you guys haven't known, a lot of GPUs have also been overly priced, kind of similar how like the PS5 and Xboxes have been on the overpriced for third-party markets, or say companies using bundles like say you know GameStop to try their best to go and sell extra products and make extra money. But for at least for the GPUs, a lot of the baseline prices are up. So it might even just be the big comparison, say for the PlayStation 5, it'd be the same comparison of like the PS5 being like $600 temporarily due to tariffs and trying to make profits, and then ideally going back down to $500. It's kind of like the same equivalent when it comes to GPUs. So you guys know on that one. So uh, the big news, as you guys can probably see, is that the United States is now chilling on U.S. imports. Now, 
I want to go talk about this more in regards to the consoles too as well. When it comes to that, that is really big news. Now, you guys might be thinking why or whatever. Because you, with this tariff, and I think that did also confirm affect PlayStation Xboxes, I believe. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe with that, that also means that they'll have a lot more incentive to want to go and sell things in America. Because, say, if you want to go, say, like the UK or Canada or Mexico or whatever, just depending on whatever area might be the best highest seller, if you had to go and not pay a 25% tariff, which is just, you know, increase in the price itself and, like, all the shipping, etc., you probably don't want to. So with this, if you can actually have for consoles for Xboxes, Playstations, etc., not alone will they actually have the really nice benefits of having people in the ecosystem. So think Americans in the ecosystem, where they go and buy and sell consoles, you know, just per usual, and also get people buying games and buying accessories, which is huge. A lot of these consoles are big loss leaders to get them into the systems and pay for PS Plus or pay for Xbox, you know, Game Pass, etc., etc. So... With them having a lower tariff price, that means that, number one, they can maybe spend more money in regards to making uh, the actual consoles. That's great to see. And number two as well, it's just more of incentive to want to move stock, etc. If you guys want me to go a little bit more in-depth in a separate video, I would totally be down just to ramble on into it. But overall, this is going to be really good for everything. Switches, I think the tariffs might have been affected. It's a lot of like semiconductor type base type stuff, although I'm not, I can't give you guys the exact full-on list, but as you guys can see, GPUs have been individually affected. And then they will also probably be affecting all the other various GPU prices too, so it's not just ASUS. As you guys know, there's other various makers too, like MSI, etc, etc. And as well, it's also just being affected a lot different other various stuff too with things with semiconductors and other electronics and i'm sure you guys know it's mostly all been imported all from china so either way baseline this is really good news when it comes to gpus and i would say as a secondary stuff for restocks there should probably be more restocks as time goes on more so maybe even just bigger shipments too as well and maybe a bigger incentive to kind of probably move more stock over here in general so kind of just let you guys all know as we kind of have a little bit more on the chiller side when it comes to this stuff so basically asus is one of the biggest graphics card vendors responsible for two major gpu series is both the asus and rog it sells both reference and custom designs from both amd and nvidia also has an intel arc alchemist partner for desktops laptops and add-in cards acs uh however that statement we received today only mentioned the video gpus too as well when it comes to that also please note the msr cut isn't 25% isn't being applied across the board this is an up to figure or as they put to customers should expect price to decline up to 25% so like i said it's not like a flat all 25% give or take because i mean you still have to worry about like the shipping costs movement cost having someone offloading the stuff etc cetera, etc cetera. but either way this is really good news in regards to the gpu side mainly because it's just nice it's just cheaper and it should also i'm not going to necessarily say we're going to be losing like having a cheaper price in the consoles but it might be kind of nice just to see them make more profits, and they might be able to go want to incentivize doing maybe bundles. So maybe fairly, like, say, like a PlayStation, you can maybe have a game tied on in, or same with Xbox 2 as well. So it's kind of just nice all around, just good news when it comes to these companies. This move by Asus is particularly important, as in 2021, the Taiwanese PC components and device giant also led the charge in the opposite direction as well, and it raises prices first in January 2021, basically citing the terrorists themselves, and again in April due to uh, basically just a lot of issues when it comes to supply and demand, production movement and all that type of stuff too as well so that's another really big thing as you guys can tell, tell from the article is that these are the people that were the pioneers to raise the prices it's like if you're trying to go get gas you have the one gas station that's like hey let's just make it seven dollars why not and then everyone else is like well people are actually somehow still buying this gas at seven dollars let's make our 680 or maybe 690 or like you know maybe 701 or 699 whatever it might be and then basically it kind of like has that big little jump up so the fact that now that that basically is the equivalent of the gas station now going down to say five dollars again and they're just able to do it because they're still making money people still want it and then everyone else kind of has to slowly adjust their sales to as well so at the end of the day i would say this is good i think it's kind of good nice to kind of have like a nice little like you know to propose up the stock a little bit more when it comes to consoles when it comes to gpus just the free flow and like a more incentive to put more into america gets more consumer goods to you guys in person and also i like i said it may not necessarily affect prices when it comes to ps5s or xboxes but in terms of the incentive to put more in america to sell more in america to make more money in america and also maybe do other things like working in proper bundles as well 
And then the end of day is just very, very nice to go and see. So all around cool stuff. It does kind of seem like a lot of things are normalizing. A lot of stuff in general is getting a little bit more on the chiller side. And hopefully that will mean a lot of us will get our consoles and everything else in the near future. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. And for the PS5 giveaway, we also have the Amazon links down below. Keep on checking if you guys want to just throughout the day. The PS5 Days Digital Console Controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well. Link down below. We have the Weeble and the Coinbase on top of that. And the Twitter giveaway. And give me all your thoughts and comments down below too as well. And I appreciate all you guys so much for watching in the first place.